Hello everyone. For his seventh birthday, his father buys his young son a new bike and a book of instructions complete with diagrams on how to ride it. The father insists that the boy read the book cover to cover, study it in great detail, memorise passages from it and pass a written test before he can even take the bike out of the shed. But we know that the only way to learn how to ride a bike is actually to get up on it, fall off it a few times and learn from our mistakes. It's the same with spiritual realities. You often hear of people who enjoy reading love stories, but then they leave a lot to be desired when it comes to translating that love into action. I believe it's the same with the resurrection of Christ. It is only meaningful if my life has been touched in some way by his reassuring presence. Otherwise, it's little more than book knowledge. To whom did our Lord appear after his resurrection? It seems to me that Jesus only appeared to those who held a special place for him in their lives, and their hearts. He didn't appear to the faithless or those who disowned him. For instance, in today's Gospel, as dawn broke, John, known as the beloved disciple, was the first to recognise Jesus as he stood on the shore. Now, if you remember, he was the one who reclined closest to him at the Last Supper. But in less appealing circumstances, he proved his loyalty to Jesus by braving the hostile crowd and standing beneath the cross. After he rose, Mary Magdalene recognised him only when he addressed her endearingly as Mary. She had already washed his feet with her tears in Simon's house and again were not surprised to find her standing by the one she loves at the foot of his cross. It was only when the Emmaus disciples pressed Jesus to stay for supper did they recognise whom their treasured guest was. We don't find him appearing, for instance, to total strangers at any time during those 40 days after his resurrection. But what about us in the church? St. Paul spells it out in his letter to the Ephesians when he says, As part of God's household, there is no reason whatsoever for us to behave like strangers or aliens in his presence. The church often refers to the real presence of Christ in the Mass. In everyday life, the people who are really present to us are those with whom we have an affinity, even though they may live at the other side of the globe. We are more than present to them than our workmates or even our next-door neighbour. So physical proximity does not automatically lead to closeness. You could live with someone for years and not really know them. There were many who knew Jesus in the flesh and even witnessed his miracles, but who didn't stay the course with him. Were they just fair-weather friends, devoid of any real closeness? A relationship with him involves taking his words to heart and standing by him in all of life's circumstances, just like John the Evangelist or Mary Magdalene. The Church teaches that Christ is really, truly and substantially present in the Eucharist. It is there that our lives and his intertwine, preparing us on earth for that endless union with him in the life to come. Thank you all very much for listening and God bless you all.